Yeah, good to hear it. So my name is Jasna Gleeson, uh, and I'm originally from Ireland. This is why I sound like this. Yeah, some fans out of the old Green Isle. That's good to hear. Um, so a bit like, bit like Robin's uh, son's name, my name is spelt quite Irish, even though it doesn't sound very Irish. So Jasmine is J-A-S-M-F-A-N-Y-N-Q-I-P. And Gleason is G-L-E, Holy Mary, Mother of God, Potato, Potato, Shame, S-O-N. So what a quinky thing, you know? Um, I think I reach my most, my peak Irish when I see people aren't wearing enough layers. Like, I feel like you should be able to express yourself however you want. But if you look cold, it's like my mother comes out of me and she's not happy. She's like, where's your feckin' coat? I'm leaving you, John. This is more about a parent's divorce, really, than it's about the weather. Um, he was wearing shorts in March. He had to go. It wasn't, it wasn't working. I'm generally quite a positive person. I was once compared to the sun from the Teletubbies. Uh, yeah, thank you. It is cute. Yeah, I take it as a compliment because I do feel like a giant yellow baby trapped in the sky. Uh, which is why I'm on so many antidepressants now. It's good. Yeah. Uh, but weirdly, my boyfriend is actually a writer and he told me that he wrote for the Teletubbies. Yeah, exactly what? <laughs> that show had writers? Excuse me. Someone wrote that down. All right. But he told me he's written such classics as Dipsy Gets Dizzy and Tinky Winky Follows a Rabbit. I was like, oh. Which is my baby laugh. Good. Cool. Uh, I didn't think I had a type, but he's the third guy I've dated that has a pacemaker. So. I like them weak, turns out. So when he was, he was born, his heart was three times the size that it should have been. And uh, you know what they say, guys, big heart, big heart surgery. He was, he was touch and go. He was very sick. Oh, boy. Um, but we've, we've moved in together now. Has anyone done like a COVID pandemic move in? Yes. There's a very shy, boop. Who was that? Over here, yes? No? Just being supportive. Thank you, OK. <laughs> Uh, well, I didn't move in, and it, it, it's going okay. Do you know, we've really gotten to know each other's tastes. Like, I know he's, uh, he knows I'm really into BDSM. Um, yeah, just big dick, small man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. And I got to know what he's really into as well. Like, his favorite TV show is I Think You Should Leave on Netflix. Really good, yes. Yeah. Uh, his favorite movie is Get Out, Jordan Peele. Yeah. The song he loves is Kate Bush, Get Out of My House, which is... Uh, big tune and he's also really into theatre this amazing improvised monologue where he's like Jasmine it's over I want you to leave and then cuts his chest and fell to the ground <laughs> what a talent oh my god um, I've got a suspicion I think something might be going on uh, I think he could be Paddington bear with me okay so right he was born in, in South America okay same as Paddington we go through like a jar of marmalade every week and he's voiced by Ben Whishaw, so <laughs> convince me otherwise, guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're not all big fans of Paddington, are you? I can tell. <laughs> I can feel the room. Um, so I'm in a lot of therapy now. Uh, yay! Woo, good. I think we should all be in therapy. Uh, it's been really good. I learned lots of really nice things from my therapist. She says things like, stop following me, I just work in this Ikea. <laughs> Which is, teaches me boundaries, you know, it's important. Uh, my other therapist, though, she said that I have a panic disorder. And I was like, what's that? And she said, it's basically that you're not feeling your feelings as they happen. You're sort of pushing them down inside yourself uh, and masking it with humor. And I was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that sounds like good material. I'm going to tell the comedy store on Friday. <laughs> My issue is, the thing is, is, is the name panic disorder. Like, panic disorder is really cool. You know, it sounds like a grunge metal band, panic disorder. <laughs> It's a band I would not be allowed to play in, you know? If it was my band, it'd be like a 50s doo-wop sort of thing. We call the Stressy Wessy Bessies. <laughs> we just do covers of Lose My Breath by Destiny's Child. <laughs> Can you keep up, baby boy, and me lose my... <gasps> oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that sort of theme. Uh, but I'm trying to feel my feelings. I'm feeling them, and I'm feeling very angry. <laughs> Which I think is a good thing. I think there's a lot of things to be angry about. Uh, I'm particularly angry with the World Health Organization. Who? Exactly. <laughs> so, not because of COVID. They, they did a good job. It was their first pandemic. What could they do? Okay? Uh, it's because they, they took their eye off the ball, and they looked over at drunk women, and they released a, released a draft. 
And this draft said that women of childbearing age should be prevented from, from consuming alcohol. Ex exactly, ladies. Again, women of childbearing age, so a lot of us, should be prevented from consuming alcohol. Prevented. Have you ever tried to prevent a drunk woman from doing anything? <laughs> it cannot be done. Like, I'm a drunk woman. Most of my friends are drunk women. I know we've got some drunk women in the house today. Exactly. You can't stop us. Like, uh, Becky, don't take your shoes off. Anna, get down from that statue. Jasmine, stop making that creepy baby laugh. No one likes it. Everyone's a bit scared, you know? What I think happened, the only way I think this draft could have happened is that one beautiful Saturday afternoon, the World Health Organization walked into a bottomless brunch in Clapham. And they saw me and my 20 other Irish friends being told that we had five minutes left to finish our bottomless Prosecco. And you know the experience. You lose your fucking mind. It's chaos. It's like carnage. It's hurly-burly, which is, it means busy and boisterous activity. And holy moly, we were hurly-burly. We lost our minds. We went in refined young women and came out like monsters looking for the crack. We all know experience. I love those laughs of recognition. Oh, I've been there. We went to a nightclub that opened at 5 p.m. We got their happy hour drinks, two for one. Very quickly, Orla had to vomit in the middle of the bar. Shauna was sober enough to get a nice bucket and hold it out for her but too drunk to know what to do next, so she just dumped it on the floor and collected more, <laughs> defeating the whole purpose. Yeah, defeating the whole thing. Like, the best moment in our friendship. And that wouldn't have happened without alcohol. What's the alternative? Coffee? We just shit ourselves on the dance floor. <laughs> I don't think so. So you know who can fuck off, I think. Good. So <laughs> I tried to do a different job. Uh, like Rishi Sunak said, he said, uh, give up on your hopes and dreams do something else. And so I tried. I, I spent the year watching posh kids shit themselves. Um, but enough about the British government. Am I right? Uh, controversial. <laughs> yeah. That has never gotten like a, an applause break before. Amazing. Um, so really I worked at a nursery in Wandsworth. So, um, and it was, it was, uh, I know some people said they work with kids. Uh, I thought I'd love it. I like kids. Super cute. You're not too sure? All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I thought they would love me. I thought I'd change some tiny lives. I'd sit backwards in a little chair, you know, bring my Pokemon cards. Uh, they weren't interested. They were too busy vaping, exchanging Bitcoin, you know? <laughs> really just wasn't, wasn't doing it. Uh, and I tried, I was like, I'll get down their level, you know? It's like, you can sell this for like a grand if you're interested. Oh, you're on the phone? Oh, closing a deal. Okay, uh, <laughs> let me know you want me to change your nappy. Fine, cool. Thanks, bud. Um, yeah. I, um, I, one thing I didn't miss was a uh, good old cat calling. Uh, I'm sure we all had experienced it. Uh, even the lads, sure, why not? Uh, I was cat called actually in Barcelona a couple of years ago, and uh, I loved it, lads, because I don't speak Spanish to know what they were saying, which means they could have been saying anything. They could have been saying lovely things. One guy was like, hola, senorita, you look like you could be a responsible dog owner. <laughs> good Sunday, thank you. Another guy was like, hola, chica, you look like you always remember to send a card on your mother's birthday. <laughs> do sometimes. Press it, senor. And then I came up to this big group of lads, 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 or muchachos, muchachos, muchachos. They all had their football jerseys on. They were a few pints in. I was a bit worried. They're like, hola, we respect women and think bunny rabbits are super cute. I was like, guys, free hand jobs for all. <laughs> so I'm going to move to Barcelona, learn some Spanish, wank off all those men. Cool. That's my mother's favorite joke. <laughs> she loves it. She likes the idea of being nice and warm, at least. Uh, good. I'm a, I'm a proud Irish woman, uh, only since I moved away from Ireland. Uh, Ireland has nice things. We've got poetry, musicians, the colour green. It's good. We don't have rappers, though. Irish people, someone shout Guinness. Yeah, good one, mate. Yeah, Guinness. Uh, uh, we don't have rappers in Ireland, though. Like, Irish people can't rap. It sounds really, really bad in this accent. There's some Irish rappers, right? My issue is that I can't rap, and I bloody love to rap. When I rap, I sound distinctly like your mother telling you off. So this is briefly Encore by Beyonce's husband. <laughs> Who'd you know fresh than hove riddle me that? The rest y'all know where I'm lyrically at. Can none of y'all marry me back when you hand me rappers like NG, rap is prime, I'm young age, your rap's grateful dead. Have to take over the globe to break bread. I'm in Bow and Jets, globe expression, punch for the boomer, still connect on the low, but the yacht on a triple deck, you can win respect, yep, yep. Grand opening, grand closing, got down the manhole, crack the can open again. He could've find dope with him and no pen, just frauds are in fish and chun. Sure, gonna see, you can't place him in, achieve invitations, these generations. Now where's your fucking coat? 
Cheers, lads. I'm Jasmine Gleeson. Thank you very much.